Welcome to Esoteric Moment. My name is Danny, and today I have a review for you of uh, Weck canning jars. Now, as someone who grew up on a farm, who does a lot of urban gardening, uh, very interested in permaculture, one of the things I'm always looking for are good ways of preserving my food. Since I live in Wisconsin, there's no way I could eat locally seasonally. There's just no food in January. So in order to fill that gap, I put up a lot of my own food. I can tomatoes and pickles and beets and all sorts of things. I freeze a lot of food as well. So here is a ball jar of uh, bread and butter pickles that I did this year. And you can tell that they, you know, nice size. They're all pretty consistent with um, how much space they take up. Almost everyone has them, so it's it's a nice way of sharing food with people without worrying about getting jars back. However, with the top of the jars, when you can them, you put this ring on, which I've kept on for this video, and then you get that small um, metal lid with a rubber seal, and you have to replace that seal every year, which is fine except they're pretty expensive and not all municipalities will recycle those lids slash some are kind of iffy about whether they recycle them. I think that they're not the easiest jars to clean, especially these, the, the narrow tops are really hard to clean before you're canning, afterwards, kind of a pill. So this year I was looking for something better something that I wouldn't have to worry about the lids as much, um, especially those concerns about the lids having BPA, which is a chemical that's not so good for us. And I found WEC canning jars. So here is a WEC canning jar that I did up this year. This is a half liter and it's filled with apple butter. The jars have a small strawberry as the company logo on it. But otherwise, very plain. The seal is done with a glass lid, which also has that strawberry logo, and a rubber seal. And these jars are great because when I stack them on a shelf, I can see exactly that has a good solid steel seal and which ones are not good. There are two ways to test the seal of a wet canning jar. One, you'll notice that this little rubber tab that creates the seal is pointing down. The second way is to kind of lift the top, and over a table I would do this better, but you can, you can feel that seal as you lift up on the jar. You know instantly that it's good. Since the lid is glass, you can also see within to the top of your food surface and you can see if there's any mold growing or any discoloration or weird liquids going on. So really awesome. Now when you can with a WEC canning jar, you do almost the exact same thing that you would with any other canning jar. You clean and sanitize all of your jars. So it has a tulip jar, a complete glass BPA free lid, and a new rubber seal. This is the only thing you have to replace every year. And these are pretty easy to find in most natural food stores. Even Target will have them. Um, and it's rubber, which is recyclable. You also have two metal clips. They're little L shapes, kind of maybe curved C, that fit over the lid. So you place the lid with the rubber on top and you just hook and snap your little C metal hooks on across from each other. So it works like that. And this is actually a good enough seal for your dry goods. Let's say you want to store beans or rice or flowers. You can do just this with the metal clips and the glass and rubber and you have an airtight seal for those things. To preserve your food, you want to then place this filled full jar in your water bath canner and you're going to can 
it for the same amount of time you would with any other jar. Very simple. I've never had these jars break. I've had really good experiences using them. It didn't even take me that long to learn how to use the Weck jar versus a ball or Kerr jar. I think that these are so much prettier than the regular jars and are well worth the investment. To buy these jars, if you're interested, you can find them at fancy kitchen stores or online at Amazon. But really, the best place to buy them is from the company's website themselves. They'll ship them to you nicely packed, very safe and fast, and it's the cheapest price right on their website. These jars do run more expensive than the Ball or Kerr mason jars. But I think because the glass lids are as safe as possible and there are a lot of functionality about making sure your food is still safe, that the seal is still good, um, and that they just look beautiful, it makes it well worth the investment. If you have any questions about using WEC canning jars or uh, have any experience using them yourself, I would love to know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.